as you probably saw from yesterday's video, I filmed a really long video and had to split it into two parts and this is part two. So if you want to see part one, then just click up here because that, that's where part one is. But yes, this is part two of my Disney World haul. Sunday you'll still get the NASA outlet, Universal, that haul Sunday. Cool? Does that make sense? I hope it does. Um, enjoy the video. Um, yeah. The first plush I got was this one right here. This is Angel, not a pink stitch. I will fight you if you call her that. This is Angel, she is Stitch's girlfriend and she is just so adorable. He looks so chubby, she's so cute. And like all the other medium plush at Disney, she was $16.95, which compared to the larger ones is a really expensive price and I don't understand why Disney does that. I went to Ohana's and I was like, I want something, but I have so much stitch and I don't need any more stitch. So I got Angel. And now even though I know I just said I wasn't going to get any more stitch plush. We went to the Disney store at the Florida mall and um, they had Stitch in his fully 626 alien form from the start of the film and I had a moment I was like I need it I've been wanting this version of this Stitch for so blooming long so my mum was like just get it you've been wanting it for ages I think he got crushed in a suitcase he was $19.95 I love him and now I keep going on about it because I love it so much but I went on Everest I came out and I saw this guy and I was like I need it he's just a little snowball and he was $19.95 which is weird because usually the larger plush are like $22.95, but I'm not complaining. $19.95 for a really cute little Yeti. When you watch my four parts one day, just me by myself video, well, me by myself for most of the day, you will see this hat. Now I got this hat from the Figment store in Epcot and it was $21.99. You'll see in Wednesday's video that just went that I saw it, I fell in love, I put it on and then my mum said, look at the cap top and I just, I bought it immediately. It has little wings. And this hat got me so many compliments. Like there were cast members that were like, where did you find that? And I was like, Epcot, just it's literally, you've got free tickets, go to Epcot and buy yourself a figment hat. If they get rid of Journey into Imagination, which they probably are going to, I'm going to be really sad because that ride just makes me really happy. Yeah. Now we move on to socks because socks, I love interesting socks. And I saw these two ones on someone's YouTube channel. I can't remember what it was. And I fell in love. And then when I saw them in person, I had a mini moment. I got them and it is the monorail socks and the stitch socks. There was a piece of fluff on that. As you guys know, I love the monorail and I had to get these. I haven't worn them yet, okay? I've had two weeks to wear these and I haven't worn them. But then look at these ones. These ones are Stitch and he eats your foot. Also, there was a deal that was buy one, get one free, buy one, get one for a certain price. I'm not sure, but I think, don't hold me to this. I think it was $20 or $24 for the two, which is blooming expensive for a pair of socks. I have monorail socks, guys. Monorail socks. <sighs> Now we're moving on to clothing items. The first thing I got from the Polynesian and it is this shirt. Look at how amazing this is. Now they did have it in youth and adult, but because I am very fortunate to be the size of an extra large child, I was able to get the youth one, which knocks like $10 off the price. But this one was $34.95 and I think the adult one was $44.95 so yeah I got it quite a bit cheaper and just look at it it's amazing this next shirt my mum actually bought me so I have no idea how much it is but I think it was about $24 $24.99 that's usually how much t-shirts are and it is this one which was from Hollywood Studios and it just has all these little tickets about Walt Disney World like there's the Transport and Ticket Center the Magic Kingdom Country Bear Jamboree Jungle Cruise the Magic Kingdom again admission to the Magic Kingdom and just all the tickets of the Magic Kingdom. I just realized this is Magic Kingdom, but I got it from Hollywood Studios. I love it, it's so pretty. Back again we go to Expedition Everest. I got this jumper and it says Mountain Rescue on the arm and then it has the Expedition Everest Mountain Rescue Disney's Animal Kingdom thing on the front. I love this. I literally saw it, fell in love immediately and was like, yes, I need that. And this was $32.99, which 
honestly for a sweatshirt at Disney is cheap because usually they're like $40. Look at it, it's really pretty. I can wear my favorite ride everywhere I go now. And then the last piece of clothing I got was this sweatshirt right here which says the Twilight Zone, Tower of Terror. Then it has Mickey, Donald and Goofy and then it has Mickey, Donald, Goofy as they drop. This is the comfiest jumper I've ever owned in my life. Oh my gosh, it is so, so, so nice. This sweatshirt was $42.99 so as you can see the Everest one was like £10 cheaper than I was expecting so I was very happy about that. Another thing that's not necessarily clothing but I'm gonna add it to the clothing category anyway because I wear it every day is a watch. I had been looking for a Disney watch the entire holiday and they had a couple ones which were like really quite tacky. I was like I just want Mickey and I want it to be like a leather watch because that's the watch my mum had and I really really liked her watch. I spent two weeks looking for it and on the day before we left I found this one and it is exactly the same color as my Pandora bracelet so my wrist is just a lovely like brown bracelet thing and it is just this watch right here. It was $29.99 but I needed a watch and I found one. I forgot a really random thing. I went to Basin and I went in and I got my hands washed as you saw in Wednesday's vlog. Go and watch it if you haven't. I saw this bath bomb. Now I shower, I don't bath but this one I saw and I was like I need that and I think it was called something like the Mickey or something. It had Mickey in the name, I can't remember but it is this one you can't really see it if it was just a normal bath bomb i'd have been like yeah i can i can live without that but this bath bomb when you put it in the bath apparently mickey confetti comes out now I don't know how true that is, but I had to try it. It was $3.99 and I'm ready. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna cry. I mean, I'm not gonna be completely upset because I'm kind of feeling like it's just gonna be like little dots. But if it works, you can bet I'll be buying more of these bath bombs when we next go back. And now we are finally coming to the last category of things that I bought from Walt Disney World. And that is the kitchen utensils slash cups slash stuff that I'm taking to uni and specifically bought because I want to take to uni. The first things I got from Hollywood Studios and they came with my meal. So we ate in the Sci-Fi Diner and Mamma Mel Rose's Ristorante Italiano. Recommend both of them. This food I had was insane. It was so good. When you go, you can have a fruit punch. Now this fruit punch is literally just like lemon squash mixed with fruit basically. But you can also get them in souvenir cups. And I was like, yeah, that's happening. So I got the Little Mermaid souvenir cup and I got the Toy Story souvenir cup. These made the price of the drink slightly more expensive. I think it was something like $8 for the drink instead of it being like $4 or something. I'm not definite. Also, with those cups, you get a light up thing. I got this ice cube when I got the aerial one and it just does this. It's so cool. But then the more amazing one is the one I got from the Toy Story cup because I got buzz. Like, you genuinely get a buzz light. A buzz light. Yeah. Ha ha ha. It's just buzz chilling he can light up oh he only lights up his blue okay and then the last light like, light that i got was from the pandoran night blossom i've been craving a night blossom for so long now with that you can get a little souvenir pandora seed which is very weird and i don't understand but it hooks on the side of your cup this one lights up in loads of different colors it goes green red blue green yellow and then purple and then it does one where it like fades between the colors there we go. And I think this like added another $4 to my drink. But honestly, Pandora is so beautiful. I needed something to remember it by and I didn't actually buy anything else in Pandora. Oh, I didn't turn Buzz off. The last two souvenir cups I got were from Gaston's Tavern in Magic Kingdom and my dad bought the drinks and I was like, can we get the souvenir cups as well? And my dad was like, yeah, sure. And I got the Gaston and LeFou tankard because as you guys know, I love LeFou. My vlogging camera is called LeFou. I love Gaston. He's such an idiot. I love Beauty and the Beast guys I have a problem. This is actually the tankard you can get LeFou's brew in. You can also get like a goblet I think if you want to be the bell. And I think this with LeFou's brew was $11. And the other cup that I got which does have some water in it currently is this one. Now if you follow Disney on social media you'll have seen that this cup came out and then everyone bought it. I saw it when we went into Gaston's tavern and I was like oh my god dad 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 dad. And when you press the thing, it has a little seizure. This is the most non-aggressive of the light changes, but I mean, I don't really play the light that much, but it has a rose in the middle. It's a flipping rose, guy. Two cups for $11 from Gaston's Tavern. Also, if you go to Gaston's Tavern, have the Enchanted Rose Cupcake. 
For uni, I'm obviously going to need kitchen stuff, the necessities. So I found this Haunted Mansion tea towel set from the World of Disney in Disney Springs. I feel like it was around 12 to $16. I might be completely wrong. On one side, it's got the wallpaper and the other side, it's got Loretta? L L L L oh my God, I've forgotten the name of the woman in the globe. If you hadn't guessed already, we are definitely going to be returning to Everest because it's my favourite ride. And I got this plate, which I'd been looking at on the internet for so, so long. It was $12.99. Again, it was from the Expedition Everest shop and it's just, it's just a plate. I went for another plate that I'd been looking at and a bowl. So they're like a little set. And it is this plate right here. Plus this plate is bigger than the other ones and it's plastic, so it's not going to break. So this one probably was the better one. And it was cheaper. This plate was $9.99, which I was so amazed at when I picked up because I genuinely thought it was going to be like $20 and it has just got the castle on it and I just it's amazing and I love it and I'm going to be eating my food off of this well I mean I'm going to have pot noodles basically every day of my life but whenever I actually make a fancy meal this is what I'll be eating off of and also I got the matching bowl because I've been seeing this on the internet and I was like that is amazing <gasps> It has the, oh my gosh, wow. It has Cinderella's shoe and it has Sleeping Beauty's um, spinning wheel thing. Yes, I got this bolt, which was $7.99. For ages, I was annoying my friends by telling them how amazing the park icon mugs were. And I've been saying how much I've been wanting them for so, so long. And I saw all of them and I bought all of them. I have no regrets. They are utterly stunning and amazing. And I never actually want to use them to drink out of because they're just too perfect. The first one I got from Magic Kingdom from the Emporium on Main Street and it is the castle but it's a mug. This was $22.99. I love it. It's just amazing. It's flawless. The other icon mug I got was Spaceship Earth because it's Epcot. This one was $22.99 as well and it says Epcot on the side. But then this icon mug is probably my favourite. It is the Tree of Life. If you didn't know, the Tree of Life is carved with hundreds and hundreds of animals and this mug has a ton of animals carved into it and even the handle is an animal. It's got a little lizard on it and it's got a little beetle and that one is a duck and this one was again $22.99. And finally, the last thing that I bought from Walt Disney World was another mug and I couldn't get a Hollywood Studios icon mug because they don't exist. I saw this one, I fell in love the first day we went and I bought it the last day. It is this mug right here that has all of the park's main attractions on it. Plus it was only $13.99 not $22.99 so I now have four mugs from Walt Disney World. Ha. If you enjoyed today's video then please do not forget to subscribe just here. Also go and watch my last video here and do not forget to enter my giveaway just here. There's a couple of Disney bits it's not huge and I'm very sorry about that but yes until next time bye!